Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Our destination for today's show is the Marriott Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City. And you know, spring is always a season of change, and that's especially true this year here at the gardens. That's because in just two weeks, the Crystal Bridge will close for an incredible renovation project. It will be back open in late 2022. So now's the time to visit. We'll show you around throughout the program. All right, are you ready to kick things off? Let's do it. Spring into action, so to speak. Speaking of spring, of course, spring brings something different for Oklahoma. And of course, we're talking about storm season. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how meteorologists track those, then you need to head to the National Weather Museum. Deanne Stein takes us to Norman to check it all out. Folks, this is extremely dangerous. This is very dangerous. When storms roll through, scientists at the National Weather Service and Severe Storms Laboratory in Norman are ready, forecasting and researching on the ground and in the sky. Norman's pretty much the weather capital of the world. Which makes it the perfect place to open the National Weather Museum and Science Center. We want to preserve the rich history of meteorology, but also highlight the future of where meteorology is going. The museum opened its doors in 2016 with one of its first exhibits, a fully restored T-28 storm penetrating aircraft. That was one of the original aircraft used to fly into thunderstorms. So as the planes are flying through those different portions of the storm, they can collect information and the scientists can sometimes analyze that as it's happening. Other popular exhibits you'll see include the original Norman Doppler radar, which helped develop advanced warnings. Then there's this car, or what's left of it, that was in the path of the 2013 Moore tornado. The time that it went through that metropolitan area of Moore, it was basically an EF5, so it had wind speeds over 200 miles per hour at that point. But we like to add these things as part of the museum in order to teach about weather safety as well. As you walk through the museum, you will be guided through a timeline of more than 100 weather-related artifacts. We have lots of historical things that um, you know, are fairly recent, but also go back to the 1700s and 1800s. Like this collection of weather thermometers and a display of historic weather balloons, which are still used today. The museum not only houses dozens of artifacts, but it's also a weather playground where you can learn about science and weather through several interactive exhibits. We want to get people excited about weather and about meteorology. And one way to do that is inside this flight simulator. I'm sitting inside the cockpit of a T-28 where you can actually work the controls to fly through different parts of the world and in any type of weather. We also have a, an augmented reality sandbox where you can change the contours within that sandbox so you can create hills and valleys and oceans and lakes and rivers. And a farm bot. You can actually use code to garden and to harvest, and so it's a way to bring in kind of the weather and climate aspect of meteorology. The museum not only covers history, but where the world of meteorology is headed. We have things like the new phase array radar that's being developed by the Advanced Radar Research Center and also folks at the NOAA National Severe Storms Lab. So going away from a traditional dish that is used to scan the skies mechanically, to more of a uh, electronically steered beam so that you can do it quicker and faster. The future also holds the dream of building a bigger space for the museum so they can add even more exhibits. We've been taking lots of baby steps going forward, but we really want to make this a much larger facility um, to bring all of that weather experience right here to Norman, Oklahoma. Discovering Oklahoma and Norman, I'm Deanne Stein. The National Weather Museum and Science Center is located at 1200 Rock Creek Road in Norman. They're open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and we'll also schedule appointments for groups at other times. From Norman, we're going to put the old gear shift in D and head to Tulsa, where we will visit a beautiful bed and breakfast. Jason Grubbs is going to show us around the Harwelden Mansion. Tulsa's Harwelden Mansion, a large estate sitting on a full city block. Its history and the memories made here fill every square inch. The mansion was built in 1923 by oil baron E.P. Harwell or Earl Harwell and his lovely wife, Mary Harwell. E.P. founded the Mobile Oil Company in Oklahoma, known today as Exxon Mobil. He, his wife, and their daughter Margot called the mansion home for many years. And she was raised in the mansion. Um, and then when she got married and had children, the grandchildren grew up here as well. 
In fact, you can see Margot's wedding dress on display here in what's now the home's bridal suite. She got married in the mansion in 1942, and so we have the photos, and we also have uh, the newspaper that featured the wedding uh, in the Tulsa Daily World. Mr. Harwell passed away in 1950. His wife oversaw the mansion until her passing nearly two decades later. And upon her passing in 1967, she bequeathed the mansion to the Arts Council of Tulsa, which at the time was a brand new Arts Council nonprofit in this community. Today, the Arts Council, known to Tulsans as AHA, is in their newly constructed home in downtown. After the move, Harweldon went on the market, catching the eye of now owner Teresa Knox. And to me, when I saw that it was for sale, it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. But no, it really is a dream come true. I was born in Tulsa. I love everything about our city and our history. For years, upstairs was closed off to the public. It was mainly offices for the folks running the Harwelden. It's since gone through a major renovation and now you can stay here one night or more. We have four uh, luxurious suites in the main house and then we have two two-bedroom suites in the carriage house. Since its donation in the late 60s, the Harwelden has hosted countless events like parties and weddings. Today, it's even more. Not only is it an event center, it is a bed and breakfast. Complete with an option for private butler concierge services. We can really curate an amazing experience for, for locals who are looking for just a night out on the town and a place to stay or a staycation, but also tourists. Each room is named after a tree, shrub, or flower you'll find on the property, from the primrose to dogwood, and of course, the red bud. And since the mansion sits on one full city block with so many beautiful trees that have been here a hundred years plus, we wanted the rooms to be a nod to the gardens and the botanical aspect of the property. The lilac suite really was lilac back in the day. That bedroom was always the guest bedroom of the Harwell family, and it was always that lavender, and they called it the lilac suite. Before renovations, Knox toured the home with the Harwell granddaughter, who grew up in the mansion. She walked through the mansion with us, and she described what it was like growing up here. She told us some really intimate stories about what it was like. The rooms are cozy, yet grand at the same time. Book one for a night, or the entire mansion for your next event. You can also call ahead for a historic tour. We really want people to walk away from the Harwelden Mansion in our city and think, I want to go back there. They want to tell their friends and family about visiting Tulsa. At the Harwelden Mansion in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. You'll find the Harwelden at 2210 South Main in Tulsa. Check out their website or Facebook page for details on reservations and tours. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Customers usually say they love my shop, they think it's really unique, um, they love the style. The fun shop where you will want to stop and stay a while. There's not a lot of old fashioned soda fountains. Plus a trip back in time to a location that sells almost everything and tops it all off with comfort food. He fell in love with the bees and it's history now. And where to find honey straight from an Oklahoma hive and a full general store. It's all coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Crystal Bridge at the Myriad Gardens in Oklahoma City, a place that will close at the end of this month for a major renovation. So plan your trip now. After your visit here, it's probably time for a little shopping. And you know what we say on this show quite a bit, shop local. And a wonderful place to do that is our next story. Come along with me now to this great place in the Paseo District of Oklahoma City. It's called JW Jewelry and Home. It's a profession that requires creativity, focus, and patience. Experimenting, reimagining, rearranging, always learning, never giving up are qualities of a talented jewelry designer. For Jennifer Woods, that love of creating jewelry started as a little girl, and in her 20s, she created her first professional piece of jewelry. I started to put these beads together and, you know, wrap it with a wire, and I figured out how to make a clasp and how to hook it all together. I thought, huh. Oh, I did that, you know, this is it's not too bad. Maybe I could, you know, do, maybe I could try some more techniques and learn a little bit more. Today, her wonderful and very stylish creations can be found at her store in the Paseo. A customer could find handcrafted jewelry. I make all the jewelry in the shop and I use uh, semi-precious gemstones and sterling silver or 14 karat gold fill. 
Um, also sometimes some glass or um, even some vintage pieces, some vintage beads. Some have been from older jewelry and others are vintage new stock, which are, have never been used before. Then that's always kind of cool. As you look around her store, it is a wide ranging mix of elegant to casual jewelry designs. She actually describes her style as? I would say modern, but eclectic and textural. Her personal favorite is a beautiful piece she did when she was the Skirbin Paseo artist in residence. She created this based on the 10 different land regions in Oklahoma. So I took the colors, the textures of the land, and you know, took a, made a color palette, and then created jewelry. Um, each, you know, created a collection within each region because I think it's very interesting and intricate, and you know, it's three strands and a lot of different materials that blended really well together. And um, I just love the way that it looks and the way that it hangs when you wear it, and or when the mannequin wears it. The colors, I think it's just very unique and interesting. It was, it was really fun to make. There's another fun element found here too. So most of the store is from local artists. Actually, uh, the stuff on the wall here is Jerrica Walsh, and she's a local uh, ceramicist, and she works with these circles. Most of her work is the circles. And then I've got um, resin here by Sarah Day Short. So she makes these lovely resin coasters. You can find plants from the Paseo plant ladies who do a great job. And typically every month, Jennifer will select a local artist whose work can be found on the walls here in the store. From the home decor side, you can shop for colorful and classy pillows, dishes, glassware, tables, and furniture. Customers usually say they love my shop. They think it's really unique. Um, they love the style. The people that love the jewelry say that my jewelry is unique and different and they say that it's reasonably priced and makes great gifts and I have a couple of friends who really give jewelry for gifts exclusively <laughs> because it's easy and it's here and they know it's going to be well made and they know it's going to be you know cost effective and I, then from the home decor standpoint I think people really like that uh, they can find local art here uh, that's important to a lot of people and we always appreciate that. JW Jewelry and Home is located at 3018 Paseo in Oklahoma City. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Down in southwestern Oklahoma, there's a store that takes us back to the old days where you could find everything under one roof. Head with me now to Main Street, Duncan, to check out R&S Drugstore. R&S Drugstore in Duncan is your hometown family-owned pharmacy, but when you step inside, you'll quickly find that it's so much more. Our running joke is, if you can't find it anywhere else, check with RNS. They either have it or know where to find it. It's, it's your hometown drugstore. So we have three stores actually. Um, the location that we're at right now has a nice soda fountain in the back. It has a gift department up in the front, and then the pharmacy's in the middle. Leslie Kern, a pharmacist herself, took over RNS Drug in 2017 after working here for years. She and her family choose every item you see in the gift shop. We have a huge area of gifts. We do a lot of farmhouse rustic um, it it's kind of what's hot right now as you enter you'll be in the retail space where you'll find anything from clothes and toys to gifts and kitchen gadgets we have home decor we have toys we have um, just your general gift like a sympathy gift a religious gift um, we have a little jewelry, we have a little clothing. We do a lot of Melissa and Doug because they have nice toys and um, we try to stay to the more affordable pricing. As you make your way back further into the store, you'll see the full service pharmacy and then that leads you to the old fashioned soda fountain. RNS Drug stands for um, Richardson and Smith. It was a pharmacist and a doctor. So Mrs. Richardson worked in the fountain area. So we still serve her original recipe of sandwiches. So the egg salad, pimento cheese, tuna salad. Leslie's lifelong friend, Anna, manages the soda fountain. Her heart is put into everything that is served. We serve all homemade food. First and foremost, that's what's most important to me, is it for it to be from scratch, vegetables that are cut up, cooked not out of a box or out of a bag. Each day you can get the soda fountain special for lunch. Chicken and dumplings, chicken pot pie, meatloaf, all the comfort food favorites. Or you can pick off the everyday menu. And don't forget the sweets. Today's special is broccoli, cheddar, 
casserole. So we would, it's just broccoli rice casserole that you would have like at Thanksgiving. We have everyday food. This is once, you know, once a week. We have baked potatoes every day. We have hot ham and cheeses every day. And you get a pickle and a chip with that. We have grab and go where you can get a sandwich, um, like a chicken salad sandwich, egg salad sandwich. On a day-to-day -day basis, we always have a pie and a cup. We have um, decorated cookies. And then we have chocolate covered strawberries. We have uh, vanilla and chocolate cake pops, or uh, cake balls. And then we have mini pies. Shop, eat, and pick up the things you need to keep you healthy all in one stop at RNS Drugstore in downtown Duncan. There's not a lot of old fashioned soda fountains. Our gift department has got a pretty wide variety. Um, and like I said, we try and look for odd and unusual things. It's just neat stuff. You'll find RNS Drugstore at 821 West Main Street in Duncan. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the week with reduced hours on the weekends. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We do a pumpkin spice gingerbread and spiced apple. It's honey with a bonus flavor where you can find it coming up. All the gravy is homemade. I make the gravy. Gravy, um, okra, cabbage. We do uh, cabbage. We have rice. We have green beans. And we're headed to Muskogee for some of the best soul food around. It's all coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Imagine limitless possibilities with the Oklahoma Travel Guide. Imagine world-class wonderlands, road trips that inspire. Imagine date night, elevated. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Imagine that. Welcome back to the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City. Such a beautiful place to visit. Springtime in Oklahoma always brings lots of flower blooms, and this is a great place to see many of those. Speaking of flowers, that means sometimes bees, which means honey. <laughs> We're going to go right into our next story because Julie Chen is going to take us to O'Rourke Acres Honey. People love honey. And it's that love of honey that's creating quite the buzz around the Honey House and General Store. Amy and Michael Roark run this hive in downtown Jinx. She's the shopkeeper and he's the beekeeper. He fell in love with the bees and it's history now. It all began nine years ago when Michael took up beekeeping as a hobby. A few backyard hives have now grown into a thousand, crisscrossing the Oklahoma countryside from Coweta to Mounds. We try to utilize everything from the hive, so it isn't just honey. Um, we use the beeswax, we make candles with it, we dip our uh, specialty bottles in it, we use it in the lip balm and lotion bars and beard balm that we make. You'll find their handcrafted original products in the store along with their oaky honey. The raw Oklahoma honey comes in all shapes and sizes, and you can buy creamed honey too. It's spreadable honey that comes in flavors ranging from cinnamon to strawberry to jalapeno. There are also seasonal selections. We do a pumpkin spice gingerbread and spiced apple. And that is on top of our um, standard, and I think we have nine flavors that we do year round. And there's more than honey products here. This is also a general store. You'll find coolers in the back filled with local staples. Things like local milk and cheese and eggs and bacon and brats and more. We have um, local milk by Swan Brothers. We have some um, beef and pork by Greenwood Farms. They are in Big Cabin. We have some bacon and beef um, from Prairie Creek Farms out in Kellyville. We have um, eggs. We do, um, our friends at Six Day Snacks make salsa and some granola bites. They are out of Broken Arrow. Local vendors also show honey-related crafts. There's a honey-infused candy wall and beautiful bee-themed home goods. I want to help everyone else that um, doesn't have the ability maybe to have a storefront. The Honey House and General Store, powered by a family of very busy bees. This Jinx small Main Street community just kind of helps give that vibe of, of local family. In Jinx, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Rourke Acres Honey is open Tuesday through Saturday. You'll find them at 217 East Main and Jinx, or check out their website, RourkeAcres.com, where you can shop online from anywhere. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. I make the peach cobbler, the banana pudding, and the bread pudding. Come here for the comfort food and don't miss the desserts, the Muskogee spot where you've just got to stop when Discover Oklahoma continues. In the oil fields of Drumright, Oklahoma, 
Freddy's Barbecue and Steakhouse was born. Now, more than 56 years later, Freddy's is still an Oklahoma favorite with our famous cabbage rolls made from scratch every morning, our award-winning tabbouleh with only the freshest ingredients, and of course, the hand-carved steaks, slow-smoked barbecue, and delicious seafood. Freddy's Barbecue and Steakhouse, a delicious Oklahoma tradition. Rockwell RV Park, located southeast of Rockwell and I-40, offers recreational vehicle and caravan parking where you can stay overnight or longer. Come and enjoy a clean environment with or indoor beach with palm trees, pool, and spa. Bring your family and their bicycles as we adjoin the city's bicycle trail. Camp with us at the only RV place in OKC with live buffaloes and six brand new babies. Rockwell RV Park, just minutes from outlet shopping in downtown OKC. Getting to spend time with the people in the 90 minutes on stage every night is what you do the whole thing for. That's the high that you can never recreate. Losers use and losers lose the thrones that they get buried on. You play moments that you can't ever recreate in front of people that get to see it for the one time that it ever happens in this world. And that's something cool about that that I've always loved. There is no barrel in my mouth. We're going back this time. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Make a date with the great outdoors with the Oklahoma State Parks app. Explore trails, discover events, get deals, book lodging, campsites, and more. Download the Oklahoma State Parks app. Experience a state of wonder. We've had another great time here today at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City. All right, this time of the show, you know, two things happen. Yes, it's time to hit the road. And then we got to find a place to eat. I agree. So what a great time to introduce the story. Casey Kennedy is going to take us to Muskogee to see what's cooking at Mama C's Soul Food. Mama C was my mother, Cassandra Gaines. Everyone called her mom, Mama C. She did just a bunch of stuff in the community. She did the soul food cook-off. She would bring different celebrities in. She also did the National Soul Food Cook-Off. She passed away in 2016. And so after my mom passed away, my daughter wanted to open up a restaurant and kind of carry on her legacy in honor of her. Everything that we cook here is kind of some of the stuff that she taught us, her recipes and stuff like that. Fried chicken, um, fried pork chops, fried fish. Um, we do sweet potatoes. We're famous for our sweet potatoes. We do greens. We're famous for our, actually fish and our chicken. Actually, everyone um, likes them. But everything, we, everything is cooked homemade. Mashed potatoes with gravy, and all the gravy is homemade. I make the gravy. Gravy. Um, okra, cabbage, we do uh, cabbage, we have rice, we have green beans. The sweet potatoes, they're, can they're candied. I can't actually tell you how to cook them. It's a secret. <laughs> so, but everyone just likes them. They actually, some people actually eat our sweet potatoes as their dessert. My daughter cooks the sweets of the restaurant, the desserts, because um, she's a sweet person, so she would... <laughs> She would always, when mom was cooking the like banana pudding or the pound cakes or whatever, she was the little kid in there that was licking the spoon. I make the peach cobbler, the banana pudding, and the bread pudding. And then sometimes we'll have a specialty dessert, which people love, our cheesecake, or if we make like some chocolate chip cookies, something different. We'll have people to call and say, okay, I need a, I need a large full pan of this or a full pan of that, and so we do that also. Every third Monday, we feed the community. You come in after 5 o'clock, and you, uh, we'll feed you. We want it to be like family. You come to, and that's how my mom was. Whatever your need was, you come to mama, and she, was, she took care of that need. If you needed her to pray for you, she prayed for you. If you were wrong, she was going to tell you that too, but she also did it in love, and so that has led down to me and my daughter kind of do stuff the same way. Mama C's is located at 821 West Broadway in Muskogee. They're open Tuesday through Sunday. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide is always going to help you find a great place to eat. All you have to do, and it's very simple, log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to our friends here at the Myriad Botanical Gardens in Oklahoma City for hosting us this week.
A reminder that the Crystal Bridge will be closing at the end of March for a major renovation project, so you'll want to visit in the next couple of weeks. The outdoor areas will remain open, and those are absolutely beautiful when spring flowers are in bloom. The renovation project should be complete in late 2022. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're heading to Lake Murray for a little bass fishing. And we're checking out chill water in Stillwater. Don't miss it next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.